Hey guys, it's Wes, not your normal miner here. Today I got a fun one for you. Today we're going to show you how to mine Ethereum Classic with 4 gigabyte GPUs. That's right, ETC or Ethereum Classic. They just had that Thanos hard fork allowing 3 and 4 gigabyte um, GPU models to come back online. Um, a lot of great stuff happening over here with Ethereum Classic, especially with this hard fork. Um, but what that does is, once again, that allows us with these 4 gigabyte and 3 gigabyte GPUs, and I know a lot of you guys in the community have them. This is another one uh, for you by community request. That's right, you the community requested this how-to video as well. But we're going to show you how to mine Ethereum Classic with those 4 gigabyte GPUs using Hive OS. As always, guys, in the description down below, we'll have links to everything so you can do your own research. Please do your own research, but if you've got a rig or two or a hundred, I know a lot of people have three and four gigabyte GPUs. Well, this is going to show you how to get them back on Ethereum Classic. It's on the new ETC hash, so we're going to walk you through how to do that using Hive OS. Let's get into it. Hey guys, it's Wes, not your normal miner. Thanks for stopping in. Let's go for a ride. As always, guys, in the description down below, we'll have links to everything so you can do your own research. But with this recent fork, and this is that Ethereum Classic hard fork to Thanos, um, this just happened yesterday. Um, we're able to GPU mine with three and four gigabyte cards on Ethereum Classic. So that's what we're walking you through how today is how to mine Ethereum Classic using our four gigabyte GPUs. And we are going to show you how to do that using Hive OS. Anytime we're doing any mining, especially when I'm trying to figure out what GPU um, or ASIC mining pool I'm trying to figure out, I am going to head over to miningpoolstats.stream. And as always, like I said, guys, in the description down below, we'll have links to everything. And um, this is also a good time if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscription bell. We really cherish that. Also, if you like these kinds of how-tos, give us a thumbs up. That way other people can see these videos. Comment down below. Let us know what you want us to show you how to do next. Comment down below. Let us know if you've been cashing in on this Ethereum Classic as well. Um, but just a quick tidbit about Ethereum Classic and this Thanos hard fork. This is what they've done to prevent those 51% attacks on the network. Keep an eye out. We're going to have a link to another video um, or we're going to be actually working on a video talking with you more about um, this Thanos hard fork and what it's actually done for Ethereum Classic. But back to this one, head over to miningpoolstats.stream forward slash Ethereum Classic and the links down below. We'll have a link to that, so that way you can figure out which mining pool you want. Anytime you're doing mining, whether it's solo mining or GPU mining, you're going to want to find a mining pool that's close to you. So that's what this is going to help you do. It's also going to show you the pool fees, minimum payouts, how many miners are online, the hash rate, all sorts of fun stuff over there. Also, if you want to know how much these 10... Um, these four gigabyte and three gigabyte cards are going to make for you. You can head over to whattomine.com in the description down below. I'll have a link to that. And you can punch in your hash rate and it will show you the estimated earnings on whatever you're mining. Once again, we're showing you how to mine Ethereum Classic over with Hive OS. And we are going to be using four gigabyte um, 1050 TIs. So we did decide to use Ethereum Classics mining pool over on twominers.com. And when you click on that in the description down below, you can pick any mining pool you want. We just like to show you a couple things here. Um, they do show you here. And, and now one of the things that's very interesting is there's no nice hash. There's no nice hash address. So in theory, what they've done is they've taken nice hash and those ASICs offline. You cannot mine with them so that's why they have one set um, of uh, a uh, servers instead of two for each of those locations i highly recommend pointing them to the servers located closest to you it's always in the description down below we'll have links to this kind of stuff if you like these videos please give us a thumbs up so once you get over to Hive OS, if you decided that that's what's right for you, get it downloaded, get it on your miners through a thumb drive. There's all sorts of other videos online showing you how to do that. Well, you pull your miner up. And like I said, we've got some 1050 Ti. So these are four gigabyte cards that currently have not been mining Ethereum or Ethereum Classic that we're going to show you how to mine um, ETC, this new ETC hash, Ethereum Classic. Ethereum Classic's been pretty profitable here recently even though all those attacks and everything so uh, this is something that you'll definitely want to check out but as always guys please do your own research first things first you're going to want to create your own wallet so when you're on hive os here and you're logged in you're going to go ahead and click wallets and then over here you're going to click add wallet so for the coin up here you're going to come up here and we're going to click 
ETC makes it easy. Now, everyone needs an Ethereum Classic address. We're not going to show you how to do that in this video. But once you've got your Ethereum Classic address, and if you don't know how to do it, please go online, hit up YouTube, lots of other great videos on how to do that. Copy and paste your Ethereum Classic address in here, and then you're going to want to name it. Well, we're going to name it. Not your normal miner, ETC YouTube, because we're doing a YouTube video on how to mine Ethereum Classic on that new ETC hash with Hive OS, and this is using 4 gigabyte GPUs. So we'll go ahead and create that. Once that's created, life's great, simple, and we'll head back to our workers. And like I said, we've got our 1050 TIs here. So we've created a wallet. Next thing we need to do is we need to create a flight sheet. Well, that flight sheet is going to ask us what mining pool that we want. And we do know that we we're choosing for us Ethereum Classics mining pool to miners.com over there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create flight sheet. And coin that we're going to do, we're going to come down here and we're going to click ETC. And as far as our wallet goes, we're going to come down and find the one that we just created, NYNM ETC YouTube. Perfect. So now for our mining pool, we did want to select twominers.com. And as always, please do your own research. Hive does have free mining on their own pool. There is a charge if you're mining on other mining pools. So always, guys, in the description down below is links to everything so you can do your you do your own research if you're new to the channel and you love these types of how-tos. Please hit that subscription bell. We really cherish that. Um, comment down below. Tell us what you think about this. Make sure you give us a thumbs up so other people can see this. We are going to click on two miners. Now this opens up. We want to figure out which pool we want. Well, remember, guys, I said mine to a pool or a server that's close to you. So we are going to click the U.S. two miners ETC mining pool. We'll click apply. Now we want to figure out what miner we're going to want to use. And now always, guys, all this stuff's going to vary depending on you personally, your, your GPUs and such. Um, Phoenix Miner, I know, has been working recently with everything new. Um, would be something that we would typically would want to try. Um, so we'll come down here and we are going to try to find Phoenix Miner. It might not be supported, quite frankly, yet. There it is. Phoenix Miner. And if it's not supported yet, we'll try T-Rex next. Because as you guys could see, when we first clicked on that, there was a, only a few different miners. And this is just new. This just forked. So we're going to see if actually Phoenix Miner is supporting ETC hash. We'll create new flight seat. So it did say the given data was invalid. So what that lets me believe is that Phoenix Miner is probably not supported. So we are going to come down here and we are going to find that T-Rex because that was in there and we're going to try it one more time. And then it does say that the flight sheet was successfully created. So now we're going to head back to workers. So like I said, your favorite miner program might not be able to work. You're going to have to try to figure that out. And as ETC hash has been a little older because this is pretty new. This is a fork here, guys. You'll see different things. Um, you'll see different optimizations in your miner and everything. But we, what we've been walking you through is how to use Hive OS to mine Ethereum Classic on ETC hash using 4 gigabyte GPUs. And this is our 1050 Ti. So, well, first things first, you got to create your wallet. Then you got to create your flight sheet. Once you've got that done, open up your miner and you're going to click Flight Sheet. And we need to come down here and we need to find the Ethereum Classic flight sheet that we just created here it is right here at the top not your normal miner etc youtube so we're going to go ahead this is using t-rex we're going to go ahead and click the little rocket and that says worker updated successfully so now we are going to go back to hive os and we're going to come back to our worker here and we're going to sit for just a minute. Also, if you're on poolside and you want to see if your miner has actually connected, when you're back over here on twominers.com, and this is going to be different if you've got different, if you're on a different mining pool, but there's always a place where you can punch in your mining address. And what you're going to want to do is after your miner has been online for a few minutes and has found a share, you'll enter that in, which we'll do here in just a second. And that way you can track to see that that GPU mining rig that you've just set up 
those four gigabyte or three gigabyte GPUs mining Ethereum Classic using Hive OS are actually hashing. So we'll give that just a second. We're going to head back over here to Hive OS dashboard. Now this may throw up an error, guys. I don't know. I haven't even tried to mine ETC yet since the fork has happened. I especially haven't tried to mine Ethereum Classic here recently with uh, four gigabyte GPUs or three gigabytes because they had stopped working. In the upper right hand corner we'll have links to all sorts of different videos on how to's showing you guys some different things. Um, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscription bell right now. We really cherish it. Um, make sure you're following up with all of our latest and greatest videos. Comment down below. Let you know. Let us know what, what you think about Ethereum Classic. Let us know what you think about this Thanos hard fork to ETC hash. So we'll let this sit for just a second because we are hopefully showing you how to mine Ethereum Classic using Hive OS. We can also come over here to the miner side to see what's going on. And you can go to remote access and you can click Hive Shell Start. So since this thing hasn't been loading, what's probably doing is it's probably downloading the miner program, which is fine. But we're going to go over here and let this sit for just a second on Hive Shell Start. Nice thing about Hive OS is if you let it sit every 30 seconds, it does refresh. So we'll give it just a few seconds here. There's a lot of interesting, nice features up here in this tab. You can also hit the refresh button here. And what we are looking for is we want to be able to hit the Hive Shell. Start. Give that just a second. So we've been walking you guys through how to mine Ethereum Classic using Hive OS. And this is with four gigabyte GPUs. These are in our remote garden location. These 1050 Ti's, we've had lots of different interesting videos that we've shown you guys. A lot of interesting how to's and such. So we are gonna go ahead and click on that hive shell. And now we are gonna see what's going on with that miner. So we know that it's not hard crashed or anything like that. And it is showing you up here. We've got two GeForce GTX 1050 Ti's. These are four gigabyte versions. And they're on set on our overclocks, fan speed 100, um, power limit 70 watts. When you're in Hive Shell, if you type in Miner and hit Enter, what you'll start to see is here is T-Rex starting to load up. Hey, what we're going to see here also is we've got ETC hash currently loading, and it's generating a DAG of 2.52 gigabytes. So what we've done is we've just shown you guys how to set up um, mining Ethereum Classic using 4 gigabyte GPUs. We've shown you how to do that using T-Rex through Hive OS. As always, in the description down below, we've got links to everything so you can see this. Um, as that DAG is loading... This is pretty exciting here, guys. This is fresh stuff. Ethereum Classic did just fork to Thanos not too long ago. So um, once we start to see a share has popped up here on our miner side, then we will go to dashboard side on pool side so that you can see that. But you can see this is ETC hash. Um, and we are on block 11711933. And the DAG file has been set for. 2.52 gigabytes. So like we said, guys, in the description down below, we're going to be able to send you to ethereumclassic.org. We'll also be able to send you to Hive OS. Please do your own research on Hive OS, but that's something as simple as putting that in on a thumb drive for those open air GPU mining rigs. Um, like I said, with this Ethereum Classic hard fork, that was Thanos that just happened here recently within 48 hours. That did bring... Um, ETC hash to three gigabyte and four gigabyte cards. So that does bring Ethereum Classic onto the table for a lot of GPU miners, where as there might not have been things that are as profitable. As always, please do your own research. Please head over to mining pool stats.stream forward slash Ethereum Classic to figure out which mining pool is best for you. And like we said, we do recommend um, mining on a pool that's close to your home um, because the closer you are, the more shares you're going to find, the more you're going to get paid, the more you're going to get paid, the more 
coins in your bag and that's what we're here for please also head over to what to mine.com punch in whatever types of gpus you got hit calculate see how many ethereum classic that you're going to earn this is etc hash this is brand new stuff here guys we did choose two miners.com that's what we've been showing you how to mine here um using hive os if we head back over to dashboard side we're going to show you guys here that we are currently mining ETC. That's right, guys. We're mining Ethereum Classic over on Hive OS. We've just shown you how to do that with your 4 gigabyte GPUs. You should also be able to do that with those 3 gigabyte GPUs. If you guys like these kinds of videos, please give us a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let us know what you like about those uh, these types of how-tos. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscription bell. We really cherish that. Last things last, if once you start finding shares, go over and type your mining address in and hit enter. Um, we haven't found any shares yet, so that's why it isn't showing any data. But once you start to find a share over there on that ETC hash, then you can punch that in a dashboard side. If you guys like these kind of videos in the description down below, um, or if you've just subscribed to our channel, make sure you head over and check out some of our other interesting YouTube videos. Lots of great stuff on GPU mining, um, lots of great stuff on cryptocurrency in general, trying to keep you up with the latest and greatest with those um, in uh, NVIDIA RTX 3080s. We've got three of those on hand, all sorts of shenanigans. In the upper right-hand corner, we'll have links to all that stuff. Make sure you also follow us over on Twitter. That way you can keep up with our live sh shenanigans. There's some guy here licking a NVIDIA RTX 3080. I mean, come on, guys. We're doing all sorts of fun stuff here, having a lot of fun as well. Make sure you check out teespring.com as well as coinrequest.io. All those links are in the description down below. But what we've done here is we've walked you through how to mine Ethereum Classic, and we've shown you how to do that using Hive OS, and that's with two um, GeForce GTX 1050 Ti's. These are four gigabyte GPUs. In the description down below, we had links to all this stuff. My name's Wes. I'm not your normal miner. We really appreciate your time. Best of luck mining that Ethereum Classic. Thank you.